With squabbles among major polluting nations, the last conference of the parties to negotiate climate agenda in Madrid in 2019 made COP25 the longest COP in history. Unfortunately, the outcome was also tagged disappointing as it failed to increase ambition on mitigation, adaptation and finance to tackle the climate crisis. Between then and now, Europe has witnessed some of the worst damage from floods. Part of Europe and North America had more than half of the worst wildfires in history. More people in Asia and Africa have been pushed into poverty and have been killed as a result of the climate crisis, while the COVID-19 pandemic make all these even more difficult for many around the world. All these are not lost on the delegates here in Glasgow. The past two years has been difficult. Some of us lost family, friends and colleagues. Please join me for a minute of silence in rem remembrance of the many lives lost around the world during the coronavirus pandemic. Before handing over the COP presidency to the United Kingdom, the outgoing president from Chile urges G20 leaders also meeting in Rome to fulfill their commitment at Paris. The UK presidency has set four main goals for the success of COP26. It hopes to deliver a secured global net zero by mid-century and keep 1.5 degree within reach by asking countries to come forward with ambitious 2030 emissions reduction targets. It encourages countries to adapt to protect communities and natural habitats. And to deliver on the first two goals, the UK presidency, we need to convince developed countries to make good on their promise to mobilize at least $100 billion dollars in climate finance per year while urging international financial institutions to play their part towards unleashing the trillions in private and public sector finance required to secure global net zero and must finalize a detailed rules that make the Paris Agreement operational. It's an honor to speak to you today for the first time as COP president. While welcoming delegates to the United Kingdom, Alok Sharma, who presides over COP26, says the IPCC's report in August is a wake-up call. The rapidly changing climate is sounding an alarm to the world to step up on adaptation, to address loss and damage, and to act now to keep 1.5 alive. The COP process is based on trust and common but shared responsibilities. It depends on goodwill of parties to commit to ending the crisis. The president of the UN General Assembly believes the world has capacities to deal with it. My dear, dear friends, we have run out of excuses. It is time to do the right thing. It is said to be the most important forum to push for and agree more ambitious action as a double whammy of COVID-19 and climate crisis are pushing more people into poverty and early death. Already, there are signs of trouble heading into COP26. Observers say the hoped-for outcome will fall short, but they also warn the world will lose more if the issues are not resolved. Ayola Kasim, Channels Television News.